Hi guys, in this lecture you will be learning the pseudo elements and the pseudo classes. So first of all here I have already created the paragraph. So now I am going to use the pseudo elements to style the first line, first letter and I am going to insert the data before and after this paragraph using the pseudo elements. So first of all write the selector is the paragraph then we have to write two columns that is for the pseudo elements here first of all I'm gonna give the style to the first line of the paragraph so we have to use the pseudo element first line and now here is the parenthesis and here I'm gonna give it the color is red here is the red and save it and let's execute it so here I'm gonna check it color is here first line we have to write first line so now here is the first line is become red so we can also write first letter so the first letter is styled so here you can see that first letter is become red and another pseudo element is the before and after here if we write before so we are able to insert the content before this paragraph here if we write content and here is colon and here if we write fahd and here is the colon so this content that is Fahad is going to be inserted before this paragraph let's check it here you see that Fahad is inserted before the paragraph and if we make it after then this data is going to insert after the paragraph here is the Fahad and we can also insert the pictures here if we write URL and here if we write one dot jpg and here you see that picture is, is inserted after the paragraph and if we make it before then check it here the picture is before the paragraph so these are the pseudo elements and now I am going to teach you the pseudo classes so basically the pseudo classes mostly pseudo classes are used uh, to facilitate the form uh, to form inputs how to check the input and all these things so here I am gonna remove this paragraph and here create a input field without the form tag here is the type is checked input type is checkbox so now here I'm gonna give it the style here what we need to do first of all I'm gonna give it a style when we check the box when we click on it then its size is become increase when we click on it its size is become increase so here we need to write the selector input and colon and then in the pseudo classes we have to write only one colon then write the checked when the in input field is checked then its width is increased by 200 pixel and let's execute it and here its width is increasing but I'm also going to give the height let's do this so here you see that when we click on it its height and width is increased you can do the same thing on the radio box here if it is radio then here you see that it is radio button so in this way you can do many other things you can apply this on other fields and the next thing is for the text field 
here is the text field here if the text field is disabled or enabled so we are able to apply the style on it here is the field is disabled so now I'm gonna change this pseudo class to the disabled and here I'm gonna give it width and the background color is that so now let's check it so now it's this field is disabled it have the increased width and the background color and if this field is enabled if this field is enabled or so it is going to increase it is not necessary here this is enabled and here yellow so here I have changed it and you can type the text in it this field is now enabled and it's depends upon you you have you want to write enable here or not I want to tell you a focus property sudo class focus now when we focus on this field so here you see that the yellow color is apply and the width is increase so what is this function here the input field is this only this input field so it applies the focus when we click on it uh, it applies the style when we click on it when we focus on this field and the next thing is the optional what are the optional fields when I have teach you the form at that time I have teach you the required when we write the required in any input field so the form cannot be submitted without that field but here we have not write any required attribute so this is an optional field so when an optional field exists so this style is apply so here you see that and if we write the required so this style will not going to be apply on this field and if we write required here then this style will apply because this is a required field we have write and if we want to apply the style on the read only file read only file then let's watch this here is the read only file here we have to write a hyphen then it's work here it is read only it the style is apply and the next thing is if we remove it then the field is read write we can able to read we are able to read and write the field so now here this style is still apply and the next thing is valid and invalid here I want to apply a email field and here if somebody put the valid email then it apply the yellow color and if someone put the invalid email then it will apply the red color here is the input so now let's write here when we write the invalid email it supply the red color and when we write the complete gmail.com uh, so it insert the yellow color so when we write the input so it select all the input fields that are in the form so this will not create any problem so this is the way we can use the pseudo classes and the pseudo elements if you have any problem in my lecture so kindly add the discussion on Udemy I will help you as much as I can thank you for watching this video